So let's go ahead and start this right now. We're going to go ahead and start from a top view. We're going to make a circle. We're going to go ahead and make a diameter of 24 millimeters. Then we're going to simply extrude this. Uh, I'm going to extrude this by 180 millimeters. That way it's nice and long enough to slide over the actual wooden dowel. Now on the inside here, I'm going to make another one so we can bore down into it. We're going to put this at 10 millimeters to give it a little bit of space around the edges. Now we're going to dig into this. We're going to do a negative extrude, and we're going to do a negative extrude of 175 millimeters. That way there's actually a 5 millimeter distance between the top and the actual hole itself when we go inside. Next step, we're going to do a fillet of 2.5 millimeters on the outside and in the inside. That way it'll give it that nice curved edge and also will help it so it won't actually tear apart as easy. Since we're using TPU, I have no clue how that's going to hold up over time. We're going to repeat this to the bottom down here. We're going to give it a nice fillet. Let's do this also at, uh, let's just do this at a straight 2 millimeters. We don't want it to have too much of a fillet here. It might look a little awkward. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make some patterns on the side using some holes here. And we want to do that so it gives it a nice texture and you're able to grab it easier. So we're going to click on this plane right here, right in the center. We're going to go up about right here, about 10 millimeters. And we're going to make a hole uh, with a diameter of 4 millimeters. Now you'll notice that this actual sketch is in the very center. So we're going to move the sketch outward. We're just going to drag it and pull it all the way from the center outward. And 25 millimeters will work here. Now what we want to do is we're going to make a shape out of this. And so we're going to extrude it by, uh, let's see, maybe negative. What do we, we don't want to go too far in. So let's do a negative 10 millimeters. And it'll be a subtraction because we want a hole. So now we have our first hole here, and we're going to use that to create a circular pattern at the bottom, and then we'll create another pattern here in a moment. So we're going to come up here to pattern. We're going to choose our uh, circular pattern. We're going to click here, and we actually want to click all the faces here. And now we're going to click on the axis, which is the actual shaft. We're going to change this quantity here to, uh, let's do 10, and... Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now we've got our first set of holes here, and we're going to use this as a pattern to extend vertically. The best way I found to do that on a round object like this is we're going to create a line, and we're going to make a line that actually is at the on the edge of this actual shaft. And we're going to extend it all the way up to where our fillet lines were, and in this case it was 175 millimeters. And what this line allows us to do, it's going to be used as a pattern. It's going to allow us to use that as a map so we can put the other circles on here. And so now we're going to come up here to create and we're going to go down to pattern and we're going to do pattern on a path. And that's the pathway we're going to be selecting. So first we're going to go around and select every face from the original circular pattern we just created. So let's click all these. All right, so we have all those. Now our pathway is going to be that line we constructed, and we're going to extend outward. And we want our quantity to be, let's see, 12 as we go up. For mathematical purposes, this will allow us to have a better spacing. And we're just going to slide this all the way up until we go to 160 millimeters. That way, 12 goes into 160 millimeters nice and easy. So there we go. We're going to click OK, and there we are. There is our shaft for our golf club. Not looking too shabby. Let's see if we can print this with TPU and how it will feel. More importantly, how it will work. Let's go do that now.